Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And today, we're getting into it. We're getting into it. What are we really getting into? There ain't really much to get into. <laughs> it's like there's been so much going on on the internet, but then also it's like... Not enough to that we care about to really... We're going to talk about what y'all want us to talk about yeah. today, so... We be scrambling at the end of it. like, And also, by the way, we're filming today. It is Wednesday, and we are dropping today. Yeah. So so as yeah. you're watching this, this is today. Updated. Oh, yes. thank you all for all of the birthday wishes, all of the love. I appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. I love y'all back just like y'all love me. I'm here for y'all. I had an amazing time. Winter brought my present today. Oh, That's yeah. why I'm bringing that up. Oh, So yes. I'm going to open it. Look how she brought it, you guys. Okay, let me just explain oh, let me make sure that... that the reason why her birthday present looks like this is because, first of all, Neiman Marcus put me through Ooh, hell. Oh, Neiman! Neiman Marcus put me through hell. They didn't even gift wrap it, y'all. It's in there so ghettoly. I, I opened the box. I said, are you dead ass serious? Neiman Marcus is canceled. What is it? She knows what it is. <laughs> so bad. Oh, yay! I should have brought the before bag that you hate so much yes. to show them. I got her a tote because I hate her tote bag. It's stressful. And it goes now. with my vibe right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a little St. Laurento. It's so flat. Open it up. <laughs> Stop. We're going to get banned from YouTube. Oh, um, thank you. Of course. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's Actually, the toe. You know what I thought? That I was really way bigger, it. too. No, this is the perfect size. If it was too big, it would have been overwhelming. Okay. Well, oh, this is perfect. Like I love it. I'm happy you love it. Oh, I love friends with money. New tote, new tote. Um, but yeah, how how was your birthday party? I came for a little bit to her birthday party, but honestly, guys, like I wasn't feeling the best. I think that I had bronchitis, and I'm like just now kind of getting over it. Yeah. So I was not feeling well. I was there until probably like what ten. 10.30. Yeah, probably like 10.30. And that's when it really started getting real. Yeah, it got crazy, apparently. Yeah, no, it was fun. I had a really good time. Um, So we had the balloons. We had the, all the decorations. Uh, the food was The good. food. We had Mediterranean food mm -hmm, mm -hmm. besides that grazing table. She wanted yeah. to... How much was the grazing table that you wanted to get that nobody was going to eat off it of? It was going to be like 400 something. I don't know. The food, the catering food was expensive, 400 Well, I didn't pay for it. I really didn't pay for anything, which is great. Yeah. I'm like, shout out to my man. Per. Per. But, like, I didn't pay for anything, but the food was, like, expensive. And I'm, like, people actually loved it and ate it. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I just had a good time. The only thing that, the only complaint that I will have is, you know, I'm in a new apartment complex. It was on a Wednesday, so it was a lot of people. There. It was a, you know, it was a few people there. And it was like, packed. It was kind of packed. It was kind of packed. Yeah. Popular. No, I'm Popular. just kidding. I really didn't even invite that many people, honestly. I just wanted it still a little intimate, but still, like, you know. Yeah. It was, like, 25 people. Yeah. 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 That's Is that funny. intimate? I, maybe. I don't know. My ne my cousin brought five niggas. So it was yeah. just like that kind of packed it out a little bit too, which I didn't mind at all. Like I'm happy he brought because I I'm cool. Like they like my cousins yeah. too. Yeah. Um but the only thing that I didn't really like per se was that it is a Wednesday. It was 9.55 and the security guard with four teeth in his mouth kept knocking on my fucking door. Four teeth. Yeah, and was like well, it's 10 o'clock. It's the noise complaints. I'm like, first of all, mind you, I went to all of my neighbors and bought them a little personal bottle of champagne and was like, look, it's my birthday, housewarming. I'm having like a little party. And they were like, cool, take, you know, like whatever. Mm -hmm. So I did that before ahead of time. Right. So he comes here with his four big ass teeth and it's just like, <laughs> um, we, we got noise complaints. It's a lot going on. He was like, I smell weed in there. I'm like, weed? What weed? Nobody was even smoking weed. They were, but. Inside the, thing, the house? It, so they went outside and I guess oh. you cannot even smoke in my apartment complex oh. at all. So he, they oh. said he was taking pictures outside. I'm like, okay, first of all, relax. First of all, I can't stand when a black person <laughs> really goes in on like a black function. Like, know what's up like you right. need to relax like we are people here like hook it like be hook chill it hook it up be yeah. chill be nice but he was not so he was like you know y'all got weed this and that and i was like weed sir what weed are you talking about <laughs> and so then he started was like now you playing me like i'm stupid and i was like okay it's because you probably smoking meth so i oh. ended up getting a little disrespectful too but in one one thing led to another he called the police on us the police came she was hella cool she was just like it's your birthday just relax just try to keep it as down as possible 
And so we ended up having a great grand ghetto ball. I loved it. I had a blast. I appreciate everybody for coming out. Like, it was fun. Yeah. I'm actually really sad that I wasn't able to, like, partake in the festivities. Because I wanted to get drunk. I, I know. She party. didn't even take a shot with me. I couldn't even. I didn't even take one shot, guys. Like, I just, I knew I would be way too sick if I did. Like, I really was, like, I, sickness was just dragging on. And it's still not 100% gone. It's, yeah. like, 90 eight percent gone at this point but like i really genuinely think i had bronchitis because it was it was serious honestly i'm glad that i wasn't sick because you know how i'm always sick after traveling i'm mm -hmm. like i would have canceled you know me i would have canceled that shit in a second i'm like yeah. i don't feel good at all yeah. but i mean it was cool you brought the cake you brought your friends you know yeah. what i'm saying like yeah so that was that was still, yeah and right. everybody ate that cake up i didn't even get one little really? slice i did not even get, i don't I, was, I never eat cake on my birthday either yeah you didn't eat the one i bought you because we destroyed it oh yeah <laughs> We had a we cake fight with cake my cake. Fight. And I look a little rough right now. I don't have on any makeup. I got a face yesterday. You don't have on makeup either. You be looking so pretty without makeup. It's because you don't have under dark under eye circles like Thank me. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. But I got a facial. But um, mom. yeah. So you did your birthday and all that. Then you just been resting. I mean, I what have I been doing for the last week? I had to go. I out was of dead town. for two days. Yeah. You were dead. She was definitely dead. I had to go out of town with my boyfriend. We had to go to Colorado to handle some business. And we were just out there in the snow. And um, it was all right. I feel like it definitely got us a lot. Like, I just feel like we've been getting a lot closer lately. Mm. We did get in an argument today. So I'm, like, really irritated at him right now. But we've just been together for 11 days straight. Oh, so. that's a long time. Yeah. So I definitely feel like we're getting a lot closer, like, for sure. But he really just blew the fuck me this morning Girl. so i'm not gonna say anything good about him anymore <laughs> i'm crying <laughs> that's how i beat her remember when i was talking i was Girl. i was high up evan on every single episode uh, and i was like this he get on my nerves i ain't gonna say nothing he's so irritating like i can't bruh it's just communicate uh, it's just easy communication that's all it is it's just, really not even that bad it's not that bad but like he really tried it this morning and i'm just like rereading the text and i'm just like I don't read them. You're gonna I get, had to laugh you're at gonna them. Get more and more upset. Yeah, I had to laugh at it because I was just like, you literally don't know who you're in a relationship with. Like, yeah. you don't know. And it's just funny to me. So, whatever. But, um, yeah, so I pretty much just been chilling for the most part, getting closer with my man, my man, my man. Um, hopefully, he don't get dumped. I don't know. Okay, we're not going that far. <laughs> we're not <laughs> It's just honestly, when you get into a new relationship, you start to, you start to see things for like kind of you just get to know somebody better. Yeah, and it's just yeah. it's not it's literally just figuring out a way to for two people yeah. to come together. And it's just crazy because we really just don't like we don't bicker much. We don't really which argue is a much. great thing. Yeah, we don't really argue much. But like when we have when we do bicker about small things, like we turn it into full blown arguments. Yeah, I, that it'd was, be small shit. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't stand when when moles turn into mountains. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, but you also have to watch how you communicate too. Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm close <laughs> to it, so. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, I okay, we'll see. Yeah, I haven't had, a, like, honestly, it's been, like, probably, like, a month since I've had an argument. Really? Yeah. That's actually, look, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I done been pretty toxic. I done done a look, lot of toxic. We haven't been toxic. Yeah, you but it's been like good. a month, That's like good. a literal, like not even like the simplest of arguments. I don't think I've ever argument. heard you say you've gone a month without arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, your whole relationship. So I'm very, very happy for you, honestly. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> I'm like, is it like I, I'm still on tippy toes? I literally You're am. Like, I'm, what's going? When's it going to set this off? What's yeah. going to set it off? Literally, yeah. but it's like we're actively. And I don't know what it takes. I don't know how long it takes. I'm not saying my relationship is perfect right now because you literally never know. Yeah, never but know. I think that we are actively trying to like work together yeah. instead of like, because, you know, I, I would tell you all the time, like I would be fighting for my independence, my mm -hmm. individuality, my like. And sometimes like I didn't have to do all of that. Yeah. And like now I'm like and he don't have to like he didn't realize that. All right. If I allow you to be. If I allow you to thrive in your environment, and mm -hmm. you, it's, I, it's it's natural for me to come back. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's working right now. That's good. That's uh, good. I would say it's that Sometimes way. Sometimes it takes a while to figure it out, but as long as y'all figure it out, that's what counts. <laughs> <laughs> for real, like.
like i mean as long as it's good now like shoot oh well like hey. yeah that's what i'm saying like you know these little petty arguments you're having are nothing uh. she be i'm not gonna lie okay maybe i'm saying too much but she be ready to like call it quits after the stupidest shit yeah it's true. and i'm like you really gotta relax no you're right every and i'm not comparing yeah. your relationship to mine at all because i hate people do that to me because i'm like my nigga's different than yours yeah in all ways, shapes, and forms. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not ever going to do that, but I'm like, no, well, I you know, know I, I done been through some shit. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like, these little bitty arguments are literally minuscule and it's just like, in order to grow with somebody, you got to work through stupid little petty arguments. Yeah, I mean, that. all my friends and family say the same thing about me. They say that you be ready to give up on your relationship Bro. so quick. You dump people too Knowing quick. she want a relationship. Yeah, like, I, I do dump people very, very quick. That's why I'm surprised that me and my boyfriend have even got to where we're at. Yeah. Like, I'm like, wow, like, we really, like, made it to being six months in a relationship like i'm proud I, of you yeah i don't remember the last time i really cared to make it past any point in time with anybody i'd be ready to be like bye and you know i can understand that because i've been like that in the past too but when yeah. i really like somebody like I, yeah. I tell you i was enamored i was like oh my god i am obsessed with this person i was single mm -hmm. for three years and like i was head head balls deep yeah. I, like literally out and, and from the see jump. that's my thing i think that's the difference between like the beginning of your relationship and my relationship mm -hmm. because like i feel like when i am overly obsessed with somebody in the beginning it doesn't work out for me yeah and like because i i have like this anxious attachment style yeah. and it like tends to like just cause problems in a relationship so like with this relationship it's just been like hella peaceful hella calm like i'm not unhealthily obsessed mm -hmm. like i don't sit there and you know make up fake scenarios in my head because i'm good for that like i will like when i first started dating i've actually guy, heard it when I've, I've heard you on the phone doing that before yeah like i literally will make up fake scenarios I'd in like my this. head of relationship like of just like things yeah. like I, I just have a very overactive imagination mm -hmm. and like that does kind of cause a problem because it'll make me overly obsessed with somebody an idle mind is the devil's playground yes and i just feel like with this relationship it's just like slow mm -hmm. and easy and it's like really like a I like, like that though. yeah it's like a, yeah. a a growing love type of mm -hmm. thing it's not like a oh my god I'm in love with you in two days yeah. like you know have you read that book uh attached no it really explains in detail like your attachment style in relationships and yeah. why you are that way and how like what it stems from and how to like not say fix it but like how to maneuver around that yeah. so I read that book too and I'm not really in a like I was obsessed with him but I'm not really an attached person you know me yeah. I'm not an yeah. attached person in general mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like he was more attached to me mm -hmm. and it kind of made me feel like overwhelmed yeah. in the beginning even though I was still utterly obsessed I was just still like overwhelmed with that and now it's just like I feel like we both in, found a place to like make it work or like we it, it's easy now you know yeah, what I'm saying I yeah. don't know who knows yeah. I don't know I well I know I definitely have an anxious attachment style. yeah and I don't I'm yeah. an avoided attachment style yeah. and so it explains those type of like styles of attachment it's a good book we should um, y'all yeah. should read it you should read it yeah I mean growing out of that is a good thing though because yeah. just with my past relationships I feel like I had the attachment. I have the anxious attachment style and I was dealing with people who knew how to play with that. Yeah. You know, and like, use it to their benefit. I know how to mm -hmm. stress this bitch out yeah. all the way. Like, you know, like, and I, I mean, my last relationship with, you know, the devil Sagittarius was mm -hmm. he is an extreme narcissist. Yeah. So he would know how to like yeah. pour his all into me and mm -hmm. then like pull back out of nowhere yeah. and like be like, I know this is going to get her hella anxious. I know it's going to drive her crazy. Yeah. Extremely manipulative, major narcissist. Like, it's just crazy thinking back to it now because it's just like, how did you like allow somebody to like manipulate you that way? Because now I think it's fucking funny. Like, yeah. you know, like, it's like, like, how dare you? Even yeah. How dare you yeah. try to play with me? And now it's like in my current relationship, like if he even tries to do some shit, I'm like, boy, please. I'm <laughs> not even bad in the fucking eyelash this shit. And you know, what's crazy. I used to think this sounds insane, what? but it would be like, I would be like, would I even care if something happened? And it would be these deep connections that I've been with for like six years. Oh, like, would I even care if we broke up? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I would just be like, so like. I'd be attached to them, yeah. but just, like, if something were to happen, I wouldn't care. And it's just, like, you know, now in this relationship that I'm in now, I just don't even, like, there would be certain times I'd be like, who am I? Oh, yeah. What am I doing? She literally will have those moments of, like, this is not me. I know, and I'd be like, I, I will have an outer body experience and be like, all right, if this was my best friend dealing yeah. with something like this, I would be like, yeah. stand up. Yeah, stand up. Get up. Get right. it together. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what time how time will tell i don't know what happens what what the future holds but right now i'm just like enjoying it for what it is and like 
I love him. Hey, I'm standing beside him. <laughs> well, I wish I would have never cried on this goddamn platform. <laughs> right. No, that's good. I'm happy. I, I, think, I mean, we're both in good place, even though I'm irritated at this man, but... Any hopes? Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Drake's dick. Yeah, let's talk about Drake's dick pic. Everybody wants us to talk about Drake's dick pic, and I'm just like, what D- do you want dick us to say? Video, oh, actually. Yeah, dick video. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting. I mean, it was. I feel like I'm. I feel like Drake. I, I don't know Drake personally. I've met him a few times, but don't know him personally. I feel like. Do you? Um, but I feel like Drake's the type of person. <laughs> Continue. I feel like Drake is the type of person to leak his own nudes. So I don't I hundred percent think so. Really? He probably was like, uh, oh, these bitches, these these ladies are playing with me, man. Either, I'm gonna have to show he, them what he it is. He either leaked it himself or he just finally sent it sent a dick pic to the wrong person. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, leaking Drake's nudes is a little insane. But you know I don't think it's that insane because honestly, if you send out dick pics like that and you know who you are, you know it's gonna leak. Yeah, no, you, you got to send good ones too, though. Like I've always said before, yeah. I've, I've definitely sent nudes in the past. And if they were to ever get exposed, I'd be like, that was me. Yeah. It's me. It happened because it's yeah. going to be a fire. Well, when nude. my nudes got leaked, I was like, I didn't even take these myself. But I mean, it was like, whatever. Yeah. It didn't look terrible. So I was like, yeah. whatever. I don't think I've messed with anyone who would ever do something like that. Mm-hmm. And I've only sent them out probably like 10, 20 times. And I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I just would hope that every the yeah. men that I've dealt with have enough respect and decorum not to do that. I only ever sent like crazy videos to like one person. So if anything ever crazy yeah. got out, I know exactly who it came from. But I don't think he would do that because I got videos of him too. So yeah, and I'm like, you could never blackmail me because I would own up to literally every single thing. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, it's me. I did it. What yeah. are we gonna do? Yeah, I sucked his yeah. dick. Like it's fine. Like and yeah, have and- y'all never sucked a dick before? Well, and then the the screenshots of me and my ex having sex um mm. the the back shots pictures i was shocked i was like who how did yeah. anybody get this and then yeah. i had to talk to him and be like what? where did this come from and he's like i literally don't know so i still don't know where the, that yeah. came from and i don't think he would do that either no i don't think he would but do also that. i wouldn't honestly saying that when you're young i would i would refrain from doing that like now mm. looking back i wouldn't allow i wouldn't if it would be in my control but i wouldn't allow anyone to really like record me doing certain things you know what i'm saying like so just use your discretion i've always been pretty good with that though like when i was younger i wasn't sending coochie videos out like the most maybe some titties and i barely had titties. yeah and i honestly don't think it's like cute even taking like a little like yeah i'm not doing all that you know what i'm saying like yeah that is a lot i'm i've only busted it open on camera for one person yeah and i'll leave it at that mine's a little discolored my asshole is black (laughs) low-key But, you know, I don't think it's that cute. Mine's mauve. It's mauve. Yeah, mauve. Wow, she has a mauve. You know they say that your asshole, your nipples, and your lips are all supposed to be the same color. And that's not the truth. This is accurate for me. So, if you guys are wondering. Um, but, um, no, um, yeah. What, just, what's, what? Oh, but what's weird to me is that how the men are reacting to it. I know. Why are y'all so excited? Media. Y'all are too excited. Y'all niggas gay i'm sorry no very much so i don't have anything else to say. i mean whatever it's fine to be gay oh speaking of that I, I just thought about it it's not on our cards but did you see the screenshot of playboy cardi going to the studio with kanye with a thong okay so i seen that too but then i seen that it was actually the mesh top that's like a bodysuit okay that's so still it was a thong no it was a thong body suit i know i know but it wasn't it wasn't buckled up in so i was like okay at least that makes it a little better okay but to me it's, it's just still like weird, how but. are you a grown ass man you're a deadbeat to your son with iggy but you're rushing to the studio with a thong up your ass to go sit in front of kanye i mean just to me it's like i don't know just like all of kanye's little like minions like weird me out so bad like yeah. i don't hate kanye like i think i had a moment where i really hated kanye but like i don't hate kanye i think that kanye is misunderstood i definitely think he has some mental health issues whatever but like the men that like flock to him and like even how they talk to him like you know like i know hella like little industry boys who be texting mm-hmm. kanye and shit and even the way that they be talking to him is just so fucking cringe like the way they be typing to him like they just try to act so cool. Kanye don't have no real friends because if he did, they would really Absolutely shut not. him the hell up Absolutely a long not. time ago. None of them. None of those like That's artsy farty. Yeah, none of them artsy farty boys are real friends to each other. They're just industry yeah. weirdos. Like, you know, like. I love saying artsy farty. What do I want to call them? Industry cucks. <clears throat> no, wait. What do we. Okay, we'll That's probably get in trouble say. for this, but what do we call like men that be like groupies in sections? Lesbians. <laughs> 
He, they're lesbians. We call we call the boys who be like on each other's dinglings groupy lesbians. Out. Like, why are you guys lesbians for each other? Like, yeah. it's, it's getting weird. But Eddie K. Amber just, was like, "What do you mean lesbians?" I'm like, "It's not a bad it's thing. It's not like actual lesbians. Yeah. We just are like, why are you a lesbian? Why like, I don't know. It's just a lingo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lingo thing. I don't know. But yeah, it just weirds me out. Yeah, but, I don't know. I mean, honestly. There was a lot of dig vids actually getting leaked. Who Ray else? Raymonte's D vid got leaked. You're lying, did no. it? Yeah, I did. Is it big? Actually, yeah. It looked oh good. Goodness. I mean, it looked good. I mean, I know me and Raymonte, I guess we don't like each other now, but. Why? Because. I, love his I told personality. you why. No, I think he's funny, but um, me and him used to follow each other on TikTok. And then oh, you did tell me he, had made the, he had made some video. He had said something about mixed people. And in that moment, I was just going through so much on the internet already. He's like, like, this about me. Uh, no, I didn't think it was about oh. me. I didn't think he was talking about me. But like, I was already going through so much surrounding the topic. So like, when he said it, like, it pissing me off because I it, it sometimes does piss me off like when people like you know say slick funny shit about mixed people or whatever. I remember that one time you said a uh, uh, a girl. What does, I wonder if they watch this or not. But you said a girl was posting and she was like, "I can't stand when mixed girls have hair care products." Oh yeah, uh, my home girl was like. Uh, my homegirl had posted in her cluster and she was like, I hate when mixed people post hair growth tips. <laughs> but like, and you know, it's funny. <laughs> but I mean, just to me, like I, it was just in a moment where it really was rubbing me mm -hmm. the wrong way. So I unfollowed him. And then um, I didn't see the DM, but he had DM me and was like, bitch, why'd you unfollow me? And he probably didn't mean bitch in like a derogatory term. No, he term. was like, bitch, why'd you unfollow me? And then he blocked me. Oh. So I was like, okay, like whatever. I guess we have a problem now. But, and then um, I had talked about it on, uh, I think live and then he, I think he had like subbed me or something or like tweeted something about me I didn't even see it because I was just like I don't want to go back and forth with the boy like I don't go back and forth with men period I don't care if you like boys or not but um yeah. no I think he's funny but in that moment like I was like it was just too much yeah it was irritating like yeah. you feel no, me I can understand that. like I don't know but um yeah so his dingling video got leaked it was a good video I mean wait how was what was he doing was he twerking and was it out like what off. was it he was jacking off yeah in the camera oh like, my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was just just like a lot of dick pics that got leaked this uh oh and then on top of that what? on top of his that getting leaked his text got leaked i guess by the same i guy. seen that but i yeah. didn't like see the dick video so his text got leaked by the same boy who like leaked the dick vid and he was like texting his friend saying yeah jt is hella weird like i, I don't like mm -hmm. industry, I all these bitches, industry people, blah, yeah. blah 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 whatever and i guess you know he got exposed because jt had tweeted something like oh my god ray monte got my side hurting like cracking up whatever mm -hmm. um but he know. still said what he said and he talking yeah. to somebody that's so invasive to me i feel like yeah. you talking to somebody in with through in confidence about something so i feel like that's just wrong on all accounts bro they always do that <laughs> shit like that it's just like you literally cannot trust nobody yeah days. that's so weird <laughs> That is so you weird. You cannot to me. trust nobody these days. Like, I don't care about none of that stuff. It's definitely, especially people who are like too internet head. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like too in the internet. Like, people just cannot wait to expose people. And, and let him thrive right now. He, yeah. I know he's on a video right now um, and he's twerking. I like with the girl, Ma, like the rapper. I don't know her name. Oh. Montaleo or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't wanna... oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Monleo. Monle so I know you're talking about. Yeah, and she. I, I, I like the song, I actually. I think, do I follow that girl? I might follow and her. And he's twerking, like, and he's getting a lot of recognition. And I just feel like it's wrong to probably tear somebody, like, because you know you deal, the more recognition you get, the harder they try to make you fall down. And, like, I guess when more people like you, the harder they want you to fail. You know? It's weird. <clears throat> Oh, I don't think we follow each other, but I think her name is Mona Leo. Yeah, something. So he's on that video twerking. Mona Leo. Mona Leo. Maybe that's it. Yeah, he's on that twerking. He's literally doing Ari stuff. He's J He got recognition from celebrities. But I did that as a you, fucking hater. Yeah, but that's why you have to like, when you start being around a lot of people and a lot of people start knowing who you are, like you're going to find out real quick that like these motherfuckers is not your friend. Like, and I think that even... I've said it before. I don't like being friends with industry people. I don't like being friends with people who are too internet. Too in it, yeah. Because, like, I've literally had to cut people off for, like, being too invested in celebrity gossip because I'm yeah. like, how would you cross me if I told you some shit? Yeah. And I'm not even no, like, big celebrity or nothing, but it's like yeah. people be waiting to tell your Very business weird. when you got stuff going on for yourself. So, you know, you got to just be aware you of that. You couldn't pay me to pay to tell a blog some shit. Like, it is, right. it's, it's, that's, that's crazy. That's a crazy thought process. Major loser T. Oh, that uh, that also just happened to um, our good friend Cleo <laughs> over there with Ice Spice. <laughs> I don't know who all saw it. 
Cle uh, uh, Ice Spice's bestie, they leaked her um, in the voice memos for saying how Ice Spice doesn't support her and doesn't repost her music. Really? Yes, and it's just so crazy to me because so it's like, one of her friends leaked leaked that as well, saying that it was like I don't know if it was like a a fan group chat or something, but they definitely you they, fans too much. They they definitely leaked her audio, and I just thought it was so funny because the way she was coming at me on Twitter for Ice Spice, and it's like you going so hard over a bitch you won't even repost your song. <laughs> That's crazy. But we're going to give you uh, your recognition here, right here on Behind the Likes. Everybody go check out her song because <laughs> apparently her friend who she be riding and dying for doesn't. So, yeah. So here's what I'll say about that. I have, I've known Cleo before. Mm -hmm. I've known of Cleo before Ice Spice. I've thought some of her videos yes. were funny. You know, we I've known of her before Ice Spice. Yeah. I, I know of her too. She used to DM me all the time talking about sis this and sis that. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I've known her before. I've mm -hmm. known of her before Ice Spice. Yeah. So it was just confusing how she jumped on this train of Ice Spice. And I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I know Ice Spice has been doing music for a while. I've never really seen her I post never Ice Spice. She, yeah, I never knew Before she Ice Spice became who Ice Spice was. So it's just like, yeah. maybe you feeding in that same energy. Maybe you getting that same energy that she was given before so i don't really know i mean and maybe she probably thinks her music isn't nice i mean i don't know but have you ever listened to her songs who cleo no i've never heard a song from her and to what extent does ice spice have to do like if she posts you i feel like that's recognition enough a little bit yeah i mean you but in my mind like you really just and i've had to learn this lesson myself you cannot depend on nobody to put you on yeah like you feel me like it, it just doesn't of course you want your friends to always support you and repo, mm -hmm. repost everything that you do but realistically everybody is in this world for themselves like yeah. it's just that fucking simple yeah. like i gave up that idea of oh i need friends who are famous so that they can repost my stuff mm -hmm. and help me you got to do that shit yourself these people don't give a what you have going on do you do you know how many fucking times i have sat there and watched my friends support people they don't even know over me yeah many a times do like who what who many people many many people many friends <laughs> like even when i was like doing music it's like will love to ride for somebody that they don't know but mm -hmm. when it comes down to you they don't really give two fuck and you know what's crazy you know Lindsay just started a pod like well she's had a podcast for years <clears throat> Lindsay has 8 million followers. She has a, she has a, a wide platform. Uh -huh. And just simply just po reposting her, she was like, I appreciate that so much mm -hmm. because people feel like they don't have to, like my friends feel like they don't have to you do have that because already. you have a big following. Right. It's just like, honestly, sometimes showing up is just the first part of it. Yeah. Just showing up, being there, supporting somebody yeah. is the first part of it to me. But now I feel like I don't even feel a way, like in the beginning I would feel a way, but now I don't even feel a way if people yeah. don't support me because I'm just like, people going to do what they want to do. And like at the end of the day, I don't need nobody. Like, it, that's just it. Like, and it, sometimes the people, like, the people who you don't even know will go harder for you. Oh, then. 100%. Yeah. People who don't know you will go way harder for you. Yeah. Like, that's that's a fact. People will love you and be a fan of you and support everything you do. And then your friends who you know and you talk to all the time will, like, half-ass it. They're not yeah. your biggest fans. You get what I mean? So, yeah. it, I mean, it it is hurtful. But, like, I, I don't hold grudges towards those mm -hmm. people anymore. Like, or anything like that. It's just... Yeah. Because, you know, there are some people who be on the Internet like, you're not my real friend. You don't like my pictures and comment on my pictures. And I think that's bullshit. The liking my pictures and commenting on my pictures thing is so bullshit. You know, it's so crazy. I'm so obsessed with myself. I will literally be on my archives and miss everybody's story. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will oh, be looking no. at my own shit consistently. And I'd be like, damn, yeah. I, I didn't even see it, my girl. Girl, the damn algorithm on Instagram is too fucked it up. Is. Sometimes we don't even see them damn photos. I, I think that's what I like. But I mean, I don't know. I, 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 these days I feel like now I'm kind of like, y'all don't have to do shit for me. So I don't have to do shit for y'all. And that's cool with me. Yeah. I you mean, know? I can understand that thought process. It's kind of like, all right, cool. This is what we're doing. But, um, anyways, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and it's no secret that consuming a little THC can help set the mood in the bedroom. However, getting that right strain and dosage can be difficult. That's why we're thankful for today's sponsor, Vaya. Vaya has developed a unique blend of pleasure-enhancing cannabinoids, libido-strengthening herbs, and a low dose of THC all into one mind-blowing gummy called High Love. We're talking about pairing aphrodisiac herbs and a mild amount of THC. Their best-selling High Love gummy will awaken your senses, increase blood flow, and intensify any sexual experience. Vaya also offers a wide array of other gummies with and without THC, each with their own unique strengths and effects catered for your routines. And the best part, Vaya legally ships in all 50 states with discreet packaging directly to your door. No medical card required. So if you're 21 plus, check out the link to Vaya in our description and use code behind the likes. 
to get 15% off. The Grammys. The Grammys. The Grammys just happened. Yeah. I love looking at Instagram pages who be like going over every single look. I love the, Oh, yeah, I love yeah, watching yeah. I looks. like that too. I love the looks. I like that too. You know what? Social media has really taken away me watching TV. I'm like, I'll just, oh, catch, yeah. it. I'll just catch it all on Instagram. Yeah, I don't watch TV. Me neither. I don't remember the last time I watched TV. I mean, I have like Netflix and stuff. Yeah. But like even then, like barely, I barely watch that. Barely. Stuff. Um, But yeah, the Grammy says. Congratulations to Victoria Monet. I know. Big shout out to her, honestly. Big shout out. That made me so She's been in the so game for happy. a while. Mm -hmm. I literally was like, wow. Like, I am so proud of this girl because she is so talented. She and, is. And I just feel like these days, like, people with real talent are literally brushed under the carpet. Yeah. Like, it's like people have an infatuation with people who can't sing and can't rap doing music. Yeah. And I'm just like, what about, like, the real artists that, like, mm -hmm. still, like, can dance, can sing, can do all these things? I mean, of course, sometimes there are artists who can dance and sing and have no, like, star quality star, about yeah, them yeah. but like it it, it does it, it's just like a good feeling to watch her win. you can see how hard she's worked because yeah. she honestly did she came in the scene she took a break she did not take took a break she did some shit behind the scenes she's yeah. worked on she worked on her craft and she came back like guns out like miss right. was blowing like she came out like she was like and not to bring beyonce in it she <laughs> she wrote beyonce this heartfelt um like letter like open letter on instagram uh-huh because I really, when I started noticing her, well, I was like, oh, she's doing it. Like, she's right. on stage. She's dancing. She's hitting them cues. Right. Like how Beyonce does. Right. And I was like, and that's what I got my recognition to her because I'm like, you know, Shyante here. <laughs> so I was like, oh, she's doing it. Like, I love to see someone thriving and then giving their grace to another, you know, artist as well and you know Beyonce I always give recognition to people who are working hard yeah because you know she called me the other day and was just like have you seen who called Beyonce you? okay delusion continue <laughs> continue mama but basically <laughs> I'm just happy for her too and I seen that and I was just like oh she's just really thriving right now yeah. and then I go home not with one not with two but three yeah that's crazy amazing that I is love amazing that. What about what you think about Taylor Swift winning another Grammy? What she win for album of the year? Was that was it album of the year? Okay, I'm not gonna discredit Taylor because discredit. Huh? I'm not gonna discredit <laughs> Taylor because Taylor gets the needle blowing for a lot of people. What's that? She really mean, does. I don't know. I seen it on uh, Club Shay Shay. Uh, Where, um, <laughs> a needle blowing. He said no. She moved the needle. Uh, over Beyonce, which I don't agree with. I will never agree with that. But, you know, a lot of people love Taylor Swift. You know there is an argument going on right now. Is Taylor Swift bigger than Beyonce? I mean, bigger than Britney Spears. Britney in her prime? I'm a slave for you? Toxic? Are we seriously going to even sorry. do that? I'm uh, sorry. I hate to say this. Do say I hate it. to say it? No shade. Like, Taylor Swift is probably a nice girl. She seemed like she'd be getting lit at the functions. I like that. I, I, I literally dislike everything about Taylor Swift. I think it is so mediocre. I think it is so uninteresting. I mean, I'm sure like her some her songs are good, I guess, to people like whatever. But I just think her as an artist is so mid and mediocre. And like it actually kind of annoys me that like mediocrity is just so blown up because this like blonde haired white uh, white girl like it literally irritates me so fucking bad there's nothing that i think is interesting about taylor swift i'm sorry nothing nothing at all not so you one don't thing. think she has that stardom quality absolutely not so you didn't you weren't really bopping to she wears short shorts i'm in the bleachers absolutely not man. i mean Cool, yeah, like uh, good song, like good song. I but for her to be as big as she is, I'm like, what the I, fuck? <laughs> see, I I can get what you're saying, but I'm not gonna I think discredit Katie, all I of think her. Katy Perry is like Katy Perry is more interesting than fucking Taylor Swift. Katy, but see, why sometimes why do you have to go out there and do the most? Why does Lady Gaga have to go out there with a meatball dress on just to like appease the crowd? Why can't I just be this regular girl living this country life, coming in, shutting shit down, and singing? So I'm not gonna discredit. No, her. I, I get but what I, you're I, saying. I just it just I don't know. You don't. You, she doesn't have the fact to you she doesn't have, have anything that interests me anything that's fine you can feel that way i know really, and it's yeah. no shade to like i i'm just giving my opinion like yeah. from like an outside looking in yeah. like i don't know her personally she's probably a, a cool girl like i have no idea but just to me she reminds me of caitlin jenner <laughs> 
And I'm sorry. Please don't attack me, Swifties. This is just my opinion. She's probably a nice girl, but that is what she reminds me of. And Caitlyn it, Jenner. Caitlyn and, Jenner just came around. Taylor been out here. I know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I hate it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a hater either. Like, I swear. I don't, I don't like this feeling. I don't like this feeling of being a hater. But it, it is me being a hater. Like, I know it is. Like, I know she works really hard. I know she has 500 albums. Like, I know this about yeah, her. I think that she, I think that she, I got some more water. I think she works hard and I'm not going to really describe that. I get what you're saying in a sense. I don't you know, know who I'm is. a hater of. Who? If we're talking about like white girls and like just vanilla. That yeah, girl, it's too vanilla for me. Maybe vanilla, that's what that, it is. Okay, that girl, Bobby. The interviewer, Bobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. low-key a hater of her. How you, like, how do you be getting all of these like. No, that that's, that's kind of the same that you have for Bobby is kind of the way that I feel about Taylor because it's like you just don't get I it. feel like and look I know I'm white passing like I'm not trying to say it like that like I know that I have privilege because I'm white passing I get that but I don't have the same fucking privilege as like those type of vanilla characters that like you just be like who is that who is that don't open that, don't open that door no do not open that door no, wait, can you see who it is, though, at least? Or say, who is it? Don't open it. No, just say, who is it? He finna get us killed. We gonna, we gonna die right here. <sighs> Y'all thought it was the Swifties at the door. Oh, um, my... <laughs> Why do we get so afraid? It's literally like... Because that was so aggressive. Yeah, it was aggressive. It was like a police knock, Loki. Yeah. Thought it was that meth man police officer coming back. So, um, yeah, back to... I think that's probably the reason why I... I it's just vanilla. Wait, it's what? just so vanilla. What were and you it, talking about being white passing? Yeah, I was talking about me being white passing and you being white passing too. Um, <laughs> I should have never took that DNA test. But um, yeah, no, I think that's probably like the way that you feel about Bobby, the podcast girl, is probably how I feel about Taylor. I just think that there's so many more people that are mm -hmm. way more talented. Not, I mean, yeah, I guess talented. I guess really? more interesting, more interesting, like more just like, I don't know. See, I think that the difference between Taylor and Bobby, I don't, I mean, I don't know Bobby personally and I am honestly just genuinely being like low-key a little bit of a hater but i think taylor has really kind of like worked hard for her yeah. accolades i think she's worked hard to get where she's at so i don't i'm necessarily but not gonna the, say but beyonce she's has worked pretty hard too and she's never got an oh, album oh, of the year don't compare beyonce yeah, and she's no. never got an don't album of the okay, year now you gotta get me started like now you what? gotta get me started don't yeah. look the beyonce comparison that's out the that's out the window. I mean, that's Jay out the door Z said me. it. Jay Z said it. Yeah, Come no, on, it it does. It's it literally does not make any sense that she has never won album of the year because she has timelessly given us album after album, hit after hit. Beyonce should have been one. Yeah. Everyone who even goes up there to accept the album of the year has dedicated it to Beyonce. Right. So stop playing in my girl, my sis, my aunt, the love of my life, face because honestly, no, she deserves it. But the way I feel about, I think Taylor has. She's she's been in the game for a while so i think she deserved it with bobby i feel like where did you come from how did this happen and i think it's because she's so vanilla and i think the way that she in even interviews i think it's cool for funny marco maybe i'm being biased because he's black but also i don't really understand his that well either but but i don't like with her is that when it happens when she has these interviews and she goes on these other interviews and was like well yeah it was weird well how do you expect them to react when you're being weird to begin with like yeah. when you have this character to play and then you go and discredit everybody else when they're coming on your platform and that's your style of interviewing, which I don't think is cool. I think Between Two Ferns is funny. I think that type yeah. of interview style oh, yeah. is hilarious. But hers is just confusing and it's not entertaining. So, it's yeah, she just had this interview with Suki Hana and she's like, yeah, um, well, I don't know much about you, Suki, but I know you're a musician. And should we just play it? Yeah. Roll the clip. Roll and then, the clip. like, at least when you have somebody coming on to interview, I would never say I don't know much. I mean, I don't know her interview style. She might be a good person. I don't mean to be a hater. We should cue that. I love to be a hater. And that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star, too. A young mom. Uh -huh. 
I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you you don't know. Okay, musician so, and magician. Yeah, <laughs> but hold on, everybody's calling Suki on a dumb. I'm pretty sure she was joking. I'm I'm pretty sure Suki knows what a musician is. She's not as dumb as people like to pretend yeah. she is. I think that she, I think that Suki was playing into her interview style, yeah. and exactly. people think it's serious. Like people really think like, oh my god, this girl's so dumb. She doesn't know what a musician is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going along with this weird style of interview that Bobby does. Yeah. And it feeds into Sukiyana's character as well. I think Sukiyana's gotten far because she's probably not dumb. She probably knows exactly. I mean, what come she's on, doing yeah. Here. I mean, th I mean, there are some dumb people who have gotten really far. Yeah, but true. I'm pretty sure she knows what a damn musician is. Like, let's yeah. be serious. But people are really dragging Suki like she's such an idiot, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's joking. Yeah, and like even when Bobby went on Kiki Palmer's, um, oh yeah, oh Kiki yeah, Kiki Palmer's interview, and like that's the thing about I'm like, Kiki Palmer kind of like had her little jab she was like i just think it's crazy how like we have the same manager and like i've been in the game for 20 years and bobby was like well yeah and i'm like that type of shit is it's that's, frustrating it's that's fucking frustrating exactly, that's exactly when my, you have to work ground up for fucking everything and like don't nobody hand you shit it is frustrating it, like even for us it's frustrating because it's like we have to do everything by ourselves we have to work mm -hmm. ground up like we ain't got no we have to handout. beg yeah people y'all y'all be giving little suggestions about who should come on here baby i didn't hit him up right they I don't just, respond this a rapper just hit me up yesterday and i was like when are you coming on the pod and he was like oh well you know i would come on the pod but my baby mama don't like you baby mama don't like me because her baby daddy like me and that's crazy as fuck like that is crazy like it is so annoying to try to get rappers on this yeah. show like people only want to follow each other so every time yeah. we try to have a male artist come on here it's hella stressful because they want to see other people yeah. do it you get what i mean and, and then, then we've had we've had opportunities of other big artists and they'll be like okay we'll do it this we'll do it yeah I will do it when I drop and this flake, on. And do, like, like, yeah. It's so irritating. And we don't got the funds to be paying people. I don't know yeah. if she paying people off. I don't get it. I don't really know the style. I don't know. I'm just I'm just like, we really be working hard. And I don't yeah. know what she does behind closed doors, but I know what we do behind closed doors. A lot. And it's a lot. And I'm just like, yeah. our time will come. It will come it is in us, due time. I mean, it definitely is, is us sounding like, you know, yeah, we're a haters. little bit bitter. And we are sounding yeah. like haters. But I mean, whatever. It's like, I, I guess it's a healthy hate. Yeah, not, because I'm not going to ever, you know, if I see her, I'd be like, I love what you're doing, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> We're also fake. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, today this episode is called Hating and Faking. <laughs> definitely. But, I'm crying. I mean, because I'll definitely, uh, I, hey, Taylor. Hey. I love, love you. you. When you sang that one song. Oh, wait, so we do have to do advice. I saved some advice. Oh, I, I did, did too, I, but I'm happy. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah, cool. I um, We can both read them then. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Mine is kind of long, so go ahead. Yeah, they rushing us out here, y'all, so don't be saying we need more time. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so, hey, Shy and Winter, I am sending this message to you both because I really need to get chose for this week's advice segment. I don't even get on Instagram like that, but I had to log in just for this. Last weekend, I brought my boyfriend with me to my homegirl's birthday party, and it was lit. Good vibes. We both had a great time. However, right before we left, he did something that really pissed me off. She was wearing press-ons and was having a hard time getting her heels off. Now, mind you, he is a gentleman. His infectious kindness is something that really made me want to lock this in early. This is the same one I screenshotted. I was really reading good, and you interrupted Sorry, me. Sorry, go ahead. His infectious kindness is something that really made me want to lock in early on the courtship. So, anywho, this is the friendship I am super... Anywho, this is a friendship I am super close to. Love her dearly. At first, he hesitated, but then he proceeded to kneel down and remove her heels for her. I'm a brown-skinned girl, so I didn't turn red, but if I was y'all's complexion, I would have turned red. That's how heated I was. Uh, let me finish. She made a lighthearted joke about it in that moment, but I was so embarrassed. We have since discussed it and moved past it, but even my therapist said I'm not tripping. My counselor told me that she would have done a lot worse than I did if I if her significant other did that. All I did he was bent add down and helped her put her shoe on. Yeah, I'm like your counselor told you this. Yeah, what? Well, anyways, I said, but even my therapist said I'm not tripping. My oh yeah, wait, blah blah blah. All I did was ask for some space from him for a couple days, and he didn't like that very much. He's a healthcare professional, so I know he's inkling is to help people, but this is not the first instance where he is where he put on his cape to save a hoe. He says he doesn't want to discuss this going forward and no longer wants to be around my friends. How can I encourage him to talk about this again in couples counseling? I see myself marrying this man, having his kids, and building a beautiful life with one another. How do you feel about that? 
I think it's ridiculous. She's dragging it. Babe, you're fucking dragging it. It's yeah, not that goddamn deep. It's like, not that deep at all. And look, I, I be saying men should walk in a straight line with me. You know that? Yeah. I do. I say that a lot, but I don't think it's that deep. And if you see your homegirl struggling, why you ain't help her? Yeah. I like, you could have just went down there yourself and kneeled down and got it for I her. I mean, if birthday, he did you know? it, I, maybe I would be like a, a little side eye, but I wouldn't like, drag it. I'd probably yeah. be like, don't but do that I again. wouldn't. You know, but like, it's like, yeah. I wouldn't drag it. I would move. I mean, it's, I mean, teach his own how you feel. We're all about feelings and, yeah. you know, whatever. But, I mean, I wouldn't be dragging it. I wouldn't be, like, dragging this in the couple's comments. You're making a mountain. You're making a mole into a mountain. Yeah. Just, you could address it and keep it for it. Now he's going to be like, I don't want to be around your friends. Don't bring me none of them bitches. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? You sound, like, hella insecure. And it's just, like, I understand the uncomfortableness in the moment to side-eye. Like, kind of like, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I get that, too. But to drag it out, it's just too far. Like, it's not that deep. You sound insecure. Now he's like, I don't want to be around none of your friends. Because it's like, he got to walk on eggshells now because you going to bring it to counseling and want to talk about it 500 times. Like, it's just It's not like he was tickling her. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Not like he was tickling the arch of her toes, sucking her pinky. Like, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't doing all that. He just helped her real quick and called it that. You could side out. You could address it in the car. But moving forward, don't do that no more. And that's just it. Yeah. Well. Love ya. See, oh, we're going to New Orleans. Oh, yes. So if you see us in New Orleans, don't be, you know, don't say, be hello. say hi to us. We will be there. Love ya. Bye. Bye.